We all sticking together. We haven't gotten nothing. And Red Cross was a thorn in well, our ass. It was a nightmare. Ass. Now you heard me say Really, it was a nightmare. We were treated like we were we, we were uh, convicts uh, out of prison. You know, they were telling us when to go to bed. They were telling us when to go to bed. We grown adults. We just had a disaster. You know, then we were put in a, a gymnasium where it was so hot, they had fans going. People were, I mean, myself, I couldn't so take it. We had cots that were so uncomfortable, it was unbearable for what somebody in prison had to deal with. Yeah. We wasn't even in, in prison. Uh, I wasn't in prison before, none of this. money that's been collected, you guys have not seen any of it. Any of it. None. Nothing. None. Nothing. Nothing. Yes. They asked us, well, we'll give you a list for housing or go look for housing. Well, we need means to go get housing. Some people don't have a car. Some people have to get on a bus. You know, they have kids. They need food. They just spent all their food stamps at North Commons. Well, isn't Emerge providing vans for you to get around? No. We have means. No. no. Okay. None whatsoever. And as far as uh, Elam is stepping up to help us for a year on, uh, for my case, is $270. I don't know about anybody else. They also I have an application with um, Salvation Army, uh, and I have an application with the Hennepin County. Now, I had an application at Hennepin County for housing. They told us to rush down there for, for us to be first priority. When we get down there, all of our applications was destroyed. And you're staying in a shelter in Brooklyn Center? Brooklyn Center. Extended stay. Uh, well, I just come up out of the meeting. They were saying how they went to that Lake Lakefield uh, Park and how they fed everybody. Okay, they might have fed a lot of people, but they didn't feed, feed the tornado victims because when we left up out of the out of the uh, park district, I mean out of, uh, out of the uh, shelter, and they told us that where where the, the, they giving out the vouchers and everything. When we got there, it was three or four hundred people already ahead of us in the line. We had to get back to the end of the line. And considering the fights, the fights broke out there, and everybody was butting in line. About the time when we came up there, the people that really needed the help, since we was at the end of the line, I think finished serving the 300 and 400 people at the Lakeview, and then we didn't get nothing. So we went to uh, uh, a Century Plaza, and they did the same thing. They bombed up Century Plaza, and Century Plaza had to close down and lock up and the rest of the people who were up in there because they got to fight in there. So we, the most that we have gotten from any organization was Red Cross when they paid, gave out the Red Cross card, card and they told us that, uh, to buy nothing but clothes. Don't, don't buy furniture, don't buy phones. Don't buy nothing but clothes. We did what they told them what to do. I got the shoes that they, they gave me right right now. The landlords don't want to let nobody move in there because they're scared that the inspectors might come in there and find more things wrong, wrong with them. So they're going to keep the tenants that they got and don't want to move no new tenants in because it might mess up the building codes that they is working on. It's really messed up out here. But the tops on the roof. I personally helped put the tops on the roof on Golden Valley and didn't get paid one dime. I did that out of kind of my, my heart. But now but I But how did you get how did you get involved with putting tarps on? I, I, after the tornado hit people were standing outside crying and they were or water was coming in there. I said, Miss, Miss, don't worry about it. Me and my friends, we got on top of the roof. We ain't, we, we, I'm 54 years old. I could have fell off the roof, but I still did the tarp the best way I did. Then I went to the next house and helped them up all down Thomas. Who supplied the materials? Uh, nobody. People, people, other people said, I got extra tarp. I don't need my tarp. People was cutting tarp. Uh, they were using plastic, regular plastic. Uh, they just, the community came together without any funds from the state, and then the state said, y'all, we shouldn't have put the tops on there. We should have left the damage the way it was for y'all to get money. And now everybody here on the north side can't get paid because people was, they using people niceness because all y'all people helped each other. Now y'all don't, don't get the, the money from the state.